got anti-collision technology. That is impressive. It feels a little bit like some sort of Xbox controller. That is absolutely fantastic. For such a price point, I have never seen something like this before. Hello everyone, Andy here, hope you're well. So today I wanted to do an unboxing and review of this cool little sort of beginner, it's more of like a kid's drone. Um, I'll go through sort of some of the features on why, but it's good for them just to sort of have a bit of a play indoors and also a little bit outdoors. It's quite safe to, to sort of, you know, have as a very first drone to sort of practice with and play with. One of the really good features is it has anti-collision. So obviously if you're in the house and you're worried about any sort of ornaments or anything fragile, then compared to most other drones that are manual, and, and you know, you could easily hit something. And um, when your kids are playing with this inside, then the anti-collision um, should be stopping it from actually hitting anything. Also what's really cool is obviously with a lot of these things, um, especially with toys and with uh, little quadcopters or drones, is these little ones don't have very good batteries. Now this comes with three, giving it a total of, as stated, up to about 30 minutes, which is you know plenty of time to have a good bit of fun with. And also it has a 360 degree flip as another feature. So again, that's something cool for the kids to sort of explore and play with. So the drone itself is called Lulin uh, X26. Now where you can purchase this from is Amazon and I'll pop a link to this in the description below. So if you do want to look at getting this for your kid or just for yourself maybe, just to have a little bit of a play with, then uh, please go into the description and check the link to get yourself one of these. So without further ado, let's pan the camera down and we'll have a little bit of an unbox and see what this product is like in its packaging. So straight away with the box, what I really like is it feels sort of quite a nice high quality, the print's really good, and the actual box is really nice and strong, um, it's really crisp, it's got loads of nice information all around the sides, it's got the logo, more information, logo, and the base has got all the kind of legal information as well. But um, what's really cool is I like how it's got this kind of magnet, if you can see there, it closes via a magnet, which is sort of, I don't know, it's just something that you see sometimes on like higher quality gift boxes. And that's just a nice little sort of touch that they've added. It's not just like a cheap cardboard box. It's got a really nice snap there with the magnet. So let's open up and have a look what it's like inside. So we've got some protective paper there and already. Now you can choose different colors with the blades. Um, on my channel, the theme is like a bit blue, like I've got with my Mavic, I've got the blue uh, Master Airscrew blade. So I thought, I'll get the blue. But I think you can get other colors. I think it's yellow or orange. So, you know, you've got a bit of choice there. But already, just straight away, that's a really nice little presentation inside. Let's see if I pick it up. It feels extremely light. I can't believe that this thing's got anti-collision technology. That is impressive. Um, if it is what I am seeing here, is it's probably difficult for the camera to pick it up, but basically in where the blades meet here, here, etc., I can see a little circle and I think that's where the sensor is. So that must be where the anti-collision is, but that feels really, really nice and light. So let's just put that to the side for now. Let's take away the protective tissue. And it looks like the whole of this box comes away. And what have we got inside? Inside the box is going to be, I'm going to guess, some sort of instructions, which I'll have to have a little look through on how to set it up and do a little flight test. Let's put that to the side for now. So, this looks like it's got all the kind of gubbins inside. Again, nice box. Everything's really well packaged. Already, I'm impressed for the price point on how well this thing has been packaged. I mean, I've had drones sort of of a similar price that are supposed to be meant for higher, higher flying um, professionals and the packaging isn't actually as good as this. So let's have a little look actually, this looks more exciting. So we've got a load of spare props as well, which is always gonna be handy. I mean, the drone itself obviously has, as you can see, this kind of protective mesh over the blades, but it's nice to know that they've actually thrown in some spare props because otherwise you'd have to pay for them. 
and here is the little controller which actually looks quite cool so we've got some little protective foam around the joysticks and that looks really nice the black the silver little on button oh, it's got a couple of buttons on the top as well actually feels really nice to hold it feels a little bit like some sort of xbox controller if that makes sense so i'm sure for kids it's quite intuitive on holding it but yeah i'm impressed by that so let's have a little look what is inside this first little parcel it looks like we've got the batteries and i'm gonna guess the charger we've got two batteries there and i'm gonna guess this is the charger which obviously when i do the first setup and fly we'll be able to um show you this but that looks to me like it will be to charge i've got a little screw here a uh, phillips style um screwdriver which i'm going to guess is to remove the props if you want to put the spare ones on and that is all the parts but yeah i'm um i'm very impressed actually let me just open up the base and there's already, I've just realized, because it did state that there was three batteries for up to 30 minutes, and there's one already in, and that is so easy, as you can see there, just to open and lock. Very easy and simple to do. So next thing to do now is to get the batteries plugged in, charge them up, and then we can have a little play with this drone and see how it handles indoors and its um, features as well. Cool, okay. So we've charged up the batteries. I just had a little play with the uh, one of the three. So what I've done is I've just left that to the side and these two are fully charged. Dead easy. I'll just show you a quick clip now. Basically, you plug this into the USB, plug it into your computer or any sort of USB device. You'll see the red light go on and then that's it. After about 90 minutes, it'll be fully charged and you'll get 10 minutes use out of that. So obviously 10, 20, 30, which is really good time for a little sort of kids drone like this. That's fantastic. So then to connect it, what I would do is first connect the two ends. So now what you want to do is try and get this slotted inside of here. So that's now in. Then you want to pull this down over the top of that little red connector if you can, and then close it shut as seen there. One thing I need to mention is the drone, even though it comes with the batteries for the drone, you do need four AA batteries for the controller, which with the little screwdriver provided, you just remove the screw, put them in, and put it shut. So without further ado, so you've done all that, now what you need to do is press the on button on the controller, which as you heard beeped, and there's a little red light flashing. Then there's a little on button here, press and hold that. The lights are flashing. Then what you do is with the left stick, you go up, down. As you heard, it beeped. The lights have stopped flashing, so that means now the drone is done. Now, before you set off for its first use, I would recommend you do a calibration. And to calibrate it on a flat surface, put both uh, the left and the right joysticks into the bottom right-hand corner, and you'll see the lights flash. And then when they stop flashing, release. So I'll just do that now. So there, hopefully you saw that. So that means now it is calibrated. Now what I'm doing is I'm sort of doing this, as you can see, this is like a living room space. We've got uh, baby's toys and all sorts. Um, and so it's a good sort of environment to test this in with its anti-collision and just a little bit of fun. So there's a few ways you can take off. You can start the propellers by going up and down with the left stick, or you can pull them into the center, like sort of a lot of traditional, more expensive drones. So we'll do that. So the props have now started up. Now I can either take off with using the left stick and going up, or I can actually use this top button here, which will automatically take the little drone up into the air at a set height. So I'll just stand back. So I'm going to press this top button, so it'll do an auto takeoff. So look at that. The drone has just taken off itself. So I'll just do a little bit of a... So now it's started off in a slow mode. But I'm just going to keep it on that, so if you can see with the controller, left is going left, right is going right, down is going backwards, on the right, forward is going forwards. So that's how you control it in that regards. Now you can control the yaw by doing the left stick, left and right. And also, what's really cool is, hopefully you can see this, I'll bring it closer towards myself, that the um, green lights indicate that that's the rear of the drone, and if I flip it round, You've got the red lights, which is the front of the drone. 
So it is really good. I mean, you've just seen, look at that. I've got my no, no hands holding. It's keeping position really, really well. Now let's just go to the left and I'll show you the anti-collision. So I'm going to the left, I'm going to the left, I'm going to the left. Oh, and did you see that? It moved away from the wall. That is really, really good. So let's go over towards the corner of the room again. I'm going forwards, forwards. Oh, and there we go, it stopped itself. How good is that? So let's come back. Hopefully you can see this, so I'm going towards this unit. Oh, and there we go, the drone has automatically gone away from the unit. That is absolutely fantastic. For such a price point, I have never seen something like this before. So yeah, as you can see, it's really good fun, really stable. You can do little tricks, but um, I'll see if I can do that inside. You can use this drone outside as well, but I'd highly recommend just to keep it more indoors, just because it's so small and light that in outside conditions, when it's windy, it's, it struggles a little bit. I mean, you can do it on a calm day. It'd still be great fun in the back garden with your kids, but I would use this more as an indoor drone. So, as I mentioned, this is in slow mode. So as you can see, I'm going full left, I'm going full right. So it's really good. So for your kid, he's not gonna go crazy and go flying into anything too fast. But what I'll do now is if you press and hold the right stick in, you'll hear it beep twice and that's gone into a fast mode. So we'll do that now. There we go, two beeps and there we go. So it went into the mode, I had to click it back in to accept it. And now if I go forward, Look at how much faster that goes. Backwards, left, right. It is so much more responsive. Look at that. That is so cool. It is really, really responsive. This would be a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun for me as an adult, never mind a child. So what would be great about this is the fact that your kid can start off in like a really slow mode and then when they get a little bit more sort of, you know, confident, then they can experiment. So should we try a little trick? So that's the bottom button on the right. Or a lot of kids, if they've got a PlayStation 2, it'd be R2. Now what I'll do is I'm going to hold the controller to the right and then I'll press the little sort of trick button and let's see it do a little trick. And there we go. Did you see that? It did a little flip. And if you noticed, really durable, it just bounced off the floor and it was absolutely fine. Let's do that again. Oh, that is so cool. So let's try a different one. Maybe we can do uh, backwards and do the trick. Whoa, did you see that? I did a little backflip. Very, very, very cool. Such a good little drone, this, for the money. Honestly, fantastic. I mean, look, hands off, it is brilliant. So that's all the features to show you on the drone. So what I can do now is I can manually land the drone. I'll actually show you two different ways you can do this. So the first one is I can obviously just go myself using the left stick, slowly go down to the ground, Press and hold the down button, and the props have gone off. Let's start the props again. And let's this time manually take off. Fantastic, took off, no problem. Then if you press the top right button, or again if you're a PlayStation owner, if you press R1, it feels like, press that, and the drone will go down safely, and the props will go off. Absolutely fantastic. I absolutely love this thing. I think it is a lot, a lot of fun. For the price point, I highly recommend this little drone. Get this for your kids, or maybe even as an adult. I'm not gonna be age specific, even as an adult, to get started with using the various sort of, the left and the right joysticks, taking off, landing. This is a fantastic beginner drone to get practicing. It's so safe to use, the propellers are hidden, it's very durable, the battery life is great. You've just seen, I've been flying for a while with absolutely no problem and if I want to keep going I've got another two batteries ready to go with another 20 minutes of battery life which is just fantastic. So I hope you've enjoyed this video hopefully it's helpful as well if you've just bought this drone and you just want to watch a video on how to set it up and get flying really appreciate it, everyone if you like this video subscribe if you're new to the channel make sure to hit the little bell icon to keep up to date with future videos hopefully I can bring some more drone tutorials and setups unboxing videos for you to review as soon as they come available. Thanks all for watching and see you in the next video. Bye.